Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the Blue Yeti USB microphone. So what this is, is a high quality microphone that plugs into your computer via USB. It features several different modes, so you can do omnidirectional for ASMR or just do regular recording for voiceovers and stuff like that. That's how I'll be using it for tutorials. It's very easy to use, it's plug and play, and it's also pretty cool looking, so I'm really excited about that. And in addition to that, it was only about $100 on Amazon, depending on the color that you get. So check the link in the description to find that price. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Comes in a nice cardboard box. I like that because you can recycle it. Let's pull this out. So the first thing in the box, we have a pretty long cable. It's also pretty thick and it seems to be mini USB to standard USB. So this is what you're gonna plug into the computer. We also have what looks like a quick start guide. And then as you can see, we have the microphone right here. Oh, it has a very good weight to it. So I removed all the packaging and right off the back, I am very impressed with just how quality this feels. It has a very good weight in the stand. It also has very good cushions, so none of the vibrations come through the microphone. And then it's also very adjustable through these little knobs right here, so you can just point it wherever you need it, and then it will stay. It also looks really cool. I got the flat black, and I think that's gonna go really well with my computer and the things on my desk. They have several different colors on Amazon, so check those out before you get them. Make sure you get the, one, the exact one that you want. So as you can see, taking a look, we have this very, very sturdy stand right here. And then like I said, it has the absorbing material on the bottom. It'll stop from any vibration from keyboard or anything like that. Then you have these two knobs on the right and the left side. And these both tighten down to apply pressure to the microphone to keep it in place. So starting with the bottom here, we have the mini USB, and this is what you will plug into your computer. And then we also have a headphone port. So you can listen to how your voice sounds through the headphones while it's recording as well, which is pretty cool. You can kind of monitor how you sound, make sure that you're getting the sound that you want. Then right here, I believe this is for mounting it to a different type of stand. So on the front here, we have a knob that is for the volume for the headphones, and then we also have a mute button for the microphone, which is great if you're a streamer or something, doing anything live, you can easily just mute it if you need to talk on the phone, or you just don't want your stream to pick up any audio. Then you have a really cool looking blue logo right here, and that's kind of shiny and metallic. I love the way that looks. So on the back side here, the first knob we have is for patterns. And what these are basically are four different modes that the microphone can do. The first is going to be stereo mode, and what that's gonna do is the front of the microphone and then the left and right side of the microphone. That's where the sound's gonna be picked up from. So this is said to be good for instruments and also recording vocals. So the second setting we have is this circle right here, and that is omnidirectional. So what that's going to do is the microphone will pick up sound equally from all directions around it. This is perfect for recording events, ASMR, or even doing like a conference call, I guess, if you were using this microphone for anything like that. The next setting right here, this little circle with the dimple in it, is cardioid. And what that does is the microphone will only pick up from the front of the microphone. So this is perfect for doing voiceovers or vocals or anything like that. This is what I'll be using for my tutorial videos. And I think that's gonna work great for me. Next right here, these little circles that look like an infinity symbol. This is going to be bi-directional. So it'll do the front and the back, which is perfect for doing an interview, something like that where you have people talking on both sides of the microphone. The next knob we have on the back is the gain knob. So what this is is kind of similar to volume. It's more the audio power going into the computer from the microphone rather than out from the speakers. So this is something you want to control before you start recording. Make sure that the level is right. So that's the controls and everything that's located on the Blue Yeti. I'm still very impressed with the way this looks. It looks very professional and it just looks really robust and cool. Very excited to have this on my desk. Now that we've taken a look at it, I'm going to plug it into my computer. We'll do a couple sound tests with the different settings and patterns, and then I'll compare it to the microphone that's in my laptop, the built-in microphone, just so you have something to compare. All right, so I have the Blue Yeti microphone set up. It was very, very easy. All I had to do was plug the USB into my Windows 10 computer, and it automatically installed it and automatically started using it as the microphone. So very, very simple with Windows 10. I currently have it in the Cordio mode, and that's probably what I'll be using for my tutorials, so I just wanted to start off with that. And what that means is the microphone is only picking up audio from the front of the microphone. So my voice should be coming through clearly, and it shouldn't be picking up too much background noise. Now what I'm gonna do, now that we have a baseline for what the Cordio sounds like, we'll go through the other modes, and you can kind of see what they sound like. Real quick before I do that, I'm going to snap my fingers on the right side, left side, and the back side. So the next pattern mode is going to be stereo mode. And what that's doing is picking up audio from the left and right, as well as the front, but not the back. So you should notice some of a difference, maybe a little bit of vibration off the walls or things like that. 
but really it should be very similar because it's still picking up mostly from the front and the left and right. This might be a bad setting for me doing tutorials because you'd pick up more of the keyboard and mouse noises and then things around me. And real quick, I'll do a test with my snapping. So right side, left side, and the back side. All right, so now the Blue Yeti is in the omnidirectional pattern. And this means it's picking up audio equally from all directions around the microphone. So this would be good for recording things such as ASMR or a room full of people, something where you need to pick up everything around the microphone. Now we'll do a quick test with my snapping fingers. So right side, left side, back side. And now we're in the bi-directional setting. So what this is going to be doing is picking up audio from the front and the rear of the microphone. This is perfect if you're doing an interview or something like that because you can have the person sit across from you and you'll pick up the same audio volume from them. Now I'll do a quick snap test so you get an idea of what it sounds like. The right side, left side, and the rear of the microphone. So now we're back in cardio mode and it's just getting from the front of the microphone. The entire time through this testing I have the gain set right in the middle. So that's just a good baseline for you to understand how to use it. So now that we've had a chance to hear what the Blue Yeti sounds like, I'm gonna just use the microphone that came with my laptop as just a quick comparison. All right, so like I said, this is just a quick comparison to show you what the microphone from my laptop sounds like. So you can kind of see the audio quality difference between a cheaper microphone and then a high quality microphone like the Blue Yeti. All right, so that was the Blue Yeti USB microphone. I have to say overall, extremely impressed with this microphone. It's going to definitely increase the quality of my tutorial videos for a price of only around $100. And there's tons of different settings, so I have even more use cases for it. Overall, the setup was extremely easy with my Windows 10 computer. It was only plug and play, so simply plug in the microphone and it was automatically installed. I'm also very impressed with some of the small details that they've included, like this mute button. At first, I was a little disappointed that it doesn't give you any like tactical or even an audio feedback, but that makes sense because you wouldn't want that to be very loud in the microphone. They've really thought of all the little small things that really increase the quality. One thing I do think is worth pointing out is if you are going to plug in headphones and you're wearing them and this microphone is on, turn the volume down first because it can be very loud. So you don't want to hurt your eardrums with that. With the four different patterns that this microphone is capable of recording, I really think that just about anybody could benefit from getting this microphone and using it. It doesn't matter if you're doing a podcast or doing voiceovers or even recording music. The different patterns and the simple controls make it really easy to get a high quality of recording with little to no setup. So that was the Blue Yeti. If you have any questions about this microphone, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel Gaging Gadgets for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.